Hello YouTube shade tree mechanic guy. So uh I guess you're putting coolant in your uh Integra or you wouldn't be watching this video. This is my old uh trusty Integra here. Uh needs a little coolant. Had a line, one of these lines busted and it caused it to overheat a little bit because I lost all my coolant. So we're putting coolant in it today. And uh most cars have a bleeder valve kind of down there by the thermostat. Your thermostat's back here in case you didn't know that. Um, but anyway, most cars have a bleeder valve near the thermostat. These cars don't. So uh, we're going to talk about how to get some coolant in it and uh, where to go from there. So the first thing you want to do is put your funnel in there. Pro tip, I cut down a little funnel so that it doesn't bounce around. I cut it down enough so that that funnel is nice and secure so you're not trying to all right, so one thing before you start adding coolant to the vehicle, this is your puke bottle, overflow bottle, reservoir. Um, there's no drain on the bottom. So if you have coolant or water in here that you want to clean out, basically you need to pull this out. It just pulls out. You've got this headlight adjuster leveler here that you kind of got to get it around. It's kind of a pain, but if you just wiggle it around, it'll eventually come out. Just watch this piece here. But um, what you've got to do there is you need to fill that up. Oh, there's a high and a low mark you can see down there. Um, just add your coolant into there. All right, so once you get your puke bottle full, obviously you need to put coolant in the car. So uh, I, you can buy 50-50 mix or uh, mix it yourself. I've mixed it and I've already started putting some coolant in here. That's why this is low, but um, this is a 50-50 mix. You save money if you buy the 100% and then mix it yourself. Um, coolant, 50% and uh, distilled water. So obviously after you get your coolant bottle filled, you wanna start fill in the radiator and the block and just go until it's pretty much full um, there's a lot of air pockets in there so it's going to take you're going to have to start it sometimes um, but fill it up and you can kind of squeeze this hose here and you can see um, if you squeeze the inlet and the outlet hoses you'll get some of the bubbles out um, but then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to just start the car and wait until the thermostat opens up. Basically right now all you've got filled is up to here in the block and then it'll fill some of this hose back here um, but you're not going to have the loop yet so there's going to be spots that you haven't filled. So what you're going to have to do is start the car, let the thermostat open and then you'll have to add some more. Alright guys, so as you can tell the car's running and we're letting it heat up. We're looking at about 148 there. 85 there, so we're still waiting on that thermostat to open up. So what you're going to want to do is continue to squeeze these tubes. Squeeze your hoses to burp all the air out of the system. You can even, I can feel this one doesn't really have anything in it. So just basically squeeze these hose tubes, hoses, and add more coolant. All right, so now we've got our uh, thermostats open and our blocks warmed up and we've been circulating coolant through the system. <clears throat> we need to, uh, you can shut the car off and basically if you've been squeezing these hoses, you'll see, you'll be able to tell when you start running out of, when there's not a lot of air in there. You can still see, you can tell I've got a little bit of air in there still. Um, and I can actually feel up here, there's not a lot of coolant. I mean, obviously, it's not going to just rest right there. Down here, it's still really hot. Let's see if we can. So, hose right there is 120 degrees. And there's 132. So you can see there's coolant, there's actually more coolant sitting down here. It's not a lot, but it's, I mean, you can touch it and you can feel the difference. So you want to still keep kind of burping it, bleeding it. But what I'll do is I'll, uh, and see there's, looks like there may be a little air there, but you can see that when I squeeze it, it raises the level. So there's obviously not a lot of air left, but Put the cap on, take it for a ride, and then come back and check it. And once you check it again, just keep adding until you can't add anymore. And basically, you'll be full. All right. 